Hello guys, this is Jeremy and welcome back to the next episode of Skywalk over on Sky Metro. Today I have got such a good episode. I'm going to quickly announce the winners for last episode. The Iron Golem Spawner giveaways and the Mega Crate giveaway is also down in the description. Go check them out. But we are going to be doing another Iron Golem and Mega Crate giveaway. So if you would like a chance to win any Mega Crates, which are worth about 10 bucks. So all you need to do, comment in your iGen, leave a like on the video, subscribe of course if you're new. And we're also going to be giving away... Uh, five people their own IG like we did last episode so also comment your IGN for that if you would like to so obviously this is our IG farm currently it's actually doing pretty well we've got a lot of money currently let's do slash pal we are all the way up to 222,000 we've even got quite a bit of stuff in some of these so to be honest if I wanted I could probably sell one this and make quite a bit of money so there we go, we just made about maybe 500-600k, which is actually really, really good. What we're going to be able to do today, we're going to be building a creeper grinder. It's going to be so, so good. It's going to make us a lot of money. I feel I feel like we could put it in there like it is currently. We wouldn't need the lava down, but I think we should actually do it somewhere separate. Maybe over here, something like that, or maybe move this grinder. So as people are grinding on it, then obviously the creepers will spawn. It can legit make hundreds, like make thousands a minute just from killing all of these. The blaze makes so much money. Let's just kill these. Here we go. I just want to see how much we get. And for some reason, it didn't drop any there. But normally, that would drop a couple of stacks and we'll be able to sell that for maybe $1,000 or something. So it's definitely worth doing grinding here over on my island. But before we do anything else, what we're going to do, we're going to quickly check out the robot. If we go into here, then I don't really need to, I don't need to pick any plenty of that. But if we go into the robot's inventory, as we can see, it's got so many diamonds. So I'm going to get all these out. I'm going to get the emeralds out as well. There we go. Uh, and what we're going to do, we're going to go out the top. And then, as you can see, we have turned all of that into the diamond and emerald blocks. So let's just quickly put all that stuff away we're not using in there. Then we can go and start placing this. So we did actually go off IS top. We're no longer on there. We're about halfway to there. It's just increasing so much at the moment, IS top. It's actually really cool. But it is a lot, lot harder for us to be able to obviously keep up. If we do want to keep up, it does mean AFKing all the time, placing tons of blocks. I may even be hiring some people soon to maybe AFK or play some blocks for us because we have a lot of money going now and yeah, we obviously got got to be placing a lot of gold to keep up. But as we can see, we're just over 15,000 IS level. So if we do slash IS level, there we go. We went up like four, maybe 300, 400 levels just from those diamonds and emeralds. So that's about a day's worth of AFK with that. So not too bad. Every week, that'll probably make a good couple thousand IS levels. So yeah, robots definitely worth guessing. Also, one thing we possibly should take down soon is maybe this farm here. We haven't really used it in ages. It doesn't really make too much money if you compare it to RIGs now. I can turn it on anyway. If we do have a look up here, there's a lot of pumpkins we can actually harvest. I did just sell it all and we got around 50k for it. So it's got a source of money, but it doesn't really make too much. And it does also take up a lot of space, as you can see. If we want to expand it, it does also take up a lot of time. Some of the redstone on here, I really don't understand. If we have a look here, it's like... Double two turned off ones there, so it's really confusing. I don't really know what's happened in some of these. It's a little messed up at the moment. Maybe that's something we will be getting soon going again. Like this seed farm, we haven't actually got a seed farm going. It's been off for a couple of days now, maybe a little bit more. And yeah, I feel like to get it going again, it would take a bit of time. We've got to fill all of this up with bone meal. It takes so long. Maybe it's like an auto crafter. That'd be a cool feature on the server, but I don't think that's going to be happening anytime soon. But if we do go over here, then I think this is what we're gonna, where we're going to be able to build our creeper farm. Like I said earlier, we've got a creeper spawner already we have some other ones here but i don't really know what we're gonna do with those yet but i know how we should build it maybe the same kind of i design that rig has or maybe even off the bottom of this and just let them drop all the way down i'm not really too sure i feel like to start off though we can definitely buy and start placing some chests so if we go into the other section i think yeah i think this is the right place uh we're just gonna pretty much just spam the trap chest and chests basket check out and purchase there we go so hopefully if I've done that correctly, we have three of each. And yes, we do. We actually have exactly three stacks of each. So that's pretty good for me. We could have it here if we really wanted to, but also we could have it here. So I'm kind of thinking we've got a slime spawning here. Maybe we got a slime chunk. That'd be kind of cool if we had a slime chunk. Because we could obviously make a farm out of that and that'd be kind of cool. But I do actually think maybe we should save a bit of space here in case we ever need to extend the IGs. It'd be kind of cool to extend it along here so we have some like corner one there. So what I'm thinking is maybe around here. So... Well, yeah, I think let's go get it going like this. We can have a similar design to the IG, but we're not really going to have as much storage for the time being. We don't really need it, to be honest. I feel like this here, it has probably enough storage just going up there. Obviously, we're going to increase all of them by that in a minute, but we're not obviously going to do that now. But maybe in between episodes or if we get time this episode, we're going to fill that in. But that's going to be the starting off storage for, obviously, our creeper farm. If we go over here, we should have a load of hoppers in some of these chests. 
So it turned out that I've obviously used a ton of LARPers already, so I did actually have to craft a few. Luckily we had a load of iron left over from obviously our iron golem farm, so I was able to craft some. We've got maybe around just under 5 stacks here, so what I think we're going to do, let's just expand this out here. So I've started to place these, and also down there I added another row of chests. So I think this is what the storage we're going to have for the time being. We don't need to fill all this up. We're not going to have too many creepers in here. But although this farm does make a lot of money. And obviously last episode we did try out how much gunpowder made at the shop. And it actually made a lot of money. So that's pretty much what's made me go towards this creeper. I don't really know if it's good. It like scaled up. Because we obviously only used one spawner just to see how much. But hopefully a lot of them actually is really good and really efficient. But as we just place a bit of this, I want to quickly talk about a faction server that I'm going to be playing. I have actually decided we have a little bit of break from the Archon. May go back in the future. But I just feel like a break from there is obviously what we can do the best for the time being. So uh, let me quickly buy some chests. We can, in fact, I feel like we can buy it. We can actually fill in another layer here. We're definitely going to need a lot more chests than what we have currently. But obviously, yes, we're going to have a little bit of a break from the Archon. We're going to be playing a different server with a few friends. It's a server in which you don't need to buy fly, all that kind of stuff. You get a nice amount of homes with a default rank. So yeah, anyway, if you guys do want to play, there's going to be a link to the description to the... Uh, I think there's going to be a forums post on the server. But obviously, if you're playing Sky Retro... Don't quit. Sky Retro is a very good server still. Uh, yeah, we're just going to be choosing, changing up our faction series, which I've had a lot of people asking me, can you bring it back? Can you bring the factions back? So yes, that is what we're going to be doing. We're bringing it back. So all links, all the information is going to be down in the description. It's actually opening this Saturday, 11 a.m. EST. So put that into your calculator, work out whatever time zone it is for you. So next up, we're going to be buying, yeah, I think quite a bit of glass. So let's get the blocks, it's not in blocks, it's in decoration, I think. Yes, white stained glass, our favourite. <laughs> there we go. We've currently got so much white stained glass on this island, it's kind of cool. Uh, we've got it all over there, we've got a white stained glass floor, we've got it all over our seed farm. We haven't got too much up there, but anyway. Alright, so I feel like what we can do, just currently in the corners, I'm going to build this up because I just want to work out where we are going to be able to place the spawners. So let's do this here, we're going to be able to place quite a few, I don't want to make it too far. So for all of you that are probably wondering what's happening to Skywalk, don't worry, Skywalk isn't going anywhere. We're keeping the same amount of episodes per week, all that kind of stuff. It's just, I don't know if you guys realise, I have been... Having a few days off recently, and obviously that's what I'm going to be able to fit in with factions, so that's going to be good. So if we do go into our E-chest here, I think that's done with the faction server, but let's go Creeper Spawner. We're going to place one of these here. I do believe it probably doesn't need to be dark for it to work. I'm not too sure in that. And it's currently just spawned, even with the light level being 15, so I don't really know what's happening. But anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to go into the other section. We're going to find the Creeper Spawners. Here we go. Let's buy a lot of those. Perfect. Okay. Basket, hopefully that's going to be enough, 1.9 mil, wow this is a lot of money, 32 creeper spawners, let me place all of these down, there we go, so that's all of the creeper spawners placed and we're going to be making a lot of money from this hopefully, as we can see, let's go into these chests quickly, uh, they should be going down to here, yes there we go, we've got 34 in there, for, that's like 10 seconds of AFK, 38 and that sells for 114, so that's a lot of money. So I'm going to be AFK in this tonight and hopefully we're going to make a lot of money. So what else we've got to do today? We have got to place a few of these spawners for a couple of challenges. If we do all, then we've got a few of them here that we can do. Let's go back to the previous page. We've got place a chicken spawner. That's going to be pretty easy. They are pretty cheap. I believe I have some in some of the chests up there actually as well. So it turns out that actually isn't one up here, which is kind of annoying. So we're going to have to go into the other section and probably buy a chicken spawner. So it's probably the, <laughs> the largest, biggest waste of money we're ever going to spend. But anyway, it's for a good challenge. There we go. Level 36. So another challenge we're going to be able to do, if we go on to here, we can go on to a place a cow spawner. Now we do have some here from our cow farm here that we haven't really used in ages. And I don't really use anymore. We can mine this one up and then we can place it again. And there we go. 3,000 XP, and I just realized we've got sell ones here, so we can quickly sell all of this. There we go, 650, yeah, uh, yeah, this isn't really too good. So what we're going to be doing to finish off today's episode is another island tour. Do IS top, then we'll be able to see, look, there we go, 100,000 IS levels pretty much coming up here. They've got a few farms, they've got a zombie pigma one here, I don't know how good they are, but we'll have to see, maybe that's something that's worth it, because iron is really, really good at the moment, maybe we'll have to see about that. So yeah, this is pretty much where I took quite a bit of inspiration for my pumpkin farm here, yeah, look at theirs, theirs is massive. The only problem with theirs at the moment, look, there we go, I signed it ages ago. The only problem with this is, okay, no, I don't want that to blow up on them. Oh, okay, phew, if that blew up, I'd be well annoyed there. 
But yeah, they don't have red unlimited redstone, so I don't think this works unfortunately. But anyway, okay, let's kill this. I don't want okay, it just blew up again. But anyway, they also kind of nice little floor here, and they've got all of these lapis blocks around here. It's so so many. They've got the seed farm that we have as well that we made. Yeah, a lot of iron golem spawners. So that's far more than we have. Well, if we go, I think up further, there should be a bit more. Yeah, here we go. Even more iron golem spawners. They have so, so many of them. So, yeah. Anyway, this is pretty much the island. If we do, I was going to go to... If we have a look at the actual IS top ones. Look, they're just these ones here. Full of gold and nothing really else. And if we go to this one here, it's pretty much exactly the same, which is kind of funny. And yeah, we have dragon eggs and everything on here. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Skyblock. If you did enjoy it, feel free to leave a like. It would be very much appreciated. And subscribe, of course, if you are new. And yes, anyway, I've been Jamie. And I'll see all of you guys in the next Skyblock episode. Goodbye.